Now that we know how we can use the free credit, let's get started and sign up. To get started, we click the free account button on the homepage at www.alibabacloud.com. This screen asks for our details in order to create a new account. We enter our country and email address and choose a password. Our chosen email address will also be our login username. It's important that the correct location is chosen, as the selected country can't subsequently be changed, and an incorrect setting here can cause problems with payment method validation later, so take care to ensure that it is correct. We are now asked to verify the email address by receiving and entering a code. We click the Send button to generate the code, which will be sent to us by email. Note that there is also an option to verify via a mobile phone, if preferred, but we will use email for this example. We check our email and there's a message containing a code. We enter this where requested. Our email is now marked as verified. That's good. We are now asked for our address details and a mobile phone number for further verification. You will need to click the Verify button in order to have the system send your verification code to your phone. When you click Verify, a second box will appear. Click on the Send Message button, then type in the code when it arrives on your phone. Once you do this and press Verify, you will then be returned to the previous screen to continue entering the rest of your details. Our phone number will now be shown as verified too, as well as the email address. We now need to specify a payment method, although we won't be charged anything until the free credit is used up. You can enter a credit card, a PayPal account, or both as payment methods. Note that some services on Alibaba Cloud are pay-as-you-go, and some are a one-off charge. You can't use PayPal for pay-as-you-go products, so if you do want to set up PayPal, you should also provide a credit card too. To authenticate your credit card, Alibaba Cloud will charge a small amount, less than $1, to the card, and there will be a six-digit validation code alongside the transaction on your card statement. To finish validating this payment method, we need to enter that code, at which point the small amount charged will also be refunded. You should be able to find details of the code by calling your credit card company or logging into your card account online. Otherwise, just wait for your regular monthly statement and it will be on there. While we are waiting for the credit card code, we can also set up PayPal as a payment method. Again, this may require verification via a code that is sent to your mobile phone. Once this is done, the main console screen will appear. If it doesn't, press the Home button at the top of the screen. Note that there's a link to Manage Payment Methods. This allows us to add another credit card or to enter the code from our card statement once it is received. Click on the Payment Methods link to ensure that you have a valid payment method on file. Without one, you won't receive the free $300. In this instance, the PayPal account has been successfully validated, so Alibaba Cloud will automatically credit the $300 to our account. So, let's see if it has arrived yet. From the line at the top of the console screen, we click on Billing Management. Then, on the left-hand side of the screen, we click on Coupons. Our free credit coupons have arrived. Now that we have our credit coupons, we can use them to purchase appropriate services. When we order a qualifying service, Alibaba Cloud will ask whether we wish to pay via a registered billing method or whether we wish to use all or part of a coupon. Now that you know how to get started, just go to www.alibabacloud.com and sign up today. We hope you enjoy trying out Alibaba Cloud and using your $300 of free credit.